What is up, everybody? Alex here again with Heavy New York and Alta Music. We got another great guest. We are outside Webster Hall in the probably one of the hottest days of the year. But we got Miss May out here. Thank you guys so much for being here. You gotta fill in. You gotta fill in on where exactly we are because that makes the the vibe of this interview so much better. Yeah, we are right outside the United States Postal Service. <laughs> we are. We are in the loading dock, yeah. making it happen. Yeah. So give us money, uh, U.S. Post Office. <laughs> But uh, it's great to have you guys here. I know Shadows Inside it just recently came out. Uh, the record is kick-ass. How's Thank it been much. so far? It's been crazy. It's uh, this whole tour. We haven't done a tour like this in years. So to have a record that's been responded like that well and then coming out and playing those songs live, it's been crazy since the opening day to just see the, those songs get louder and louder live. It's been awesome. Yeah. I mean, and uh, how's it going for you? It's sick. We're playing new songs, and uh, my favorite thing to do is – play difficult new songs and uh that first couple of tours after the record comes out are always the most what well, they're they're fun for for a different reason in the end of the year right now we're playing them all for the first time which is always really exciting and then you know we're going to come back like a year from now we'll be playing them and they'll be exciting because they will have been out long enough that everybody will be pumped on them right now everything we do is new which is exciting everybody's kind of hearing everything for the first time live uh and then the fact that they actually go over well is a is a huge bonus on this one yeah i've noticed some bands prefer to play uh, the newer stuff right when it's fresh and it just came out some people prefer to like you know practice it a little bit more and then throw more newer yeah. songs on there so it's interesting to hear the different inputs on that now this is like i i know that you were here last year uh with uh during the we came as roman show you were in new york city with kill switch engage um, you you played with so many different bands. You were on Mayhem Fest with Cannibal Corpse yeah, and yeah. Suicide Silence. So you've toured with a variety of different bands. So when you're playing with all these different bands, how different is the crowd? Oh man, it, it changes so much. It cha it changes so much to where even when I talk to the crowd, I, like um, some of the like younger, lighter crowds, they're more into like the jumping and all that. And then obviously the heavier crowds, it's more there's a lot more circle pit calls and headbang calls. So I, we definitely have to adapt, but. Um, I think that's one special thing about Miss May I, too, though, is that we get to sort of walk that line that we can play heavier shows and lighter shows. It's pretty special. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, uh, So are you able to like tell, like, okay, we're playing with Cannibal Corpse, so encourage Circle Pits. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, yeah. we're, today we're playing with the Pond of Burning Bodies, so encourage the hardcore dancing. Exactly. That's exactly how we go about it. Yeah. yeah. And we know that because we've struck out oh, before, yeah. you know? Like, we've been touring long enough that the only way you really learn that you need to adapt like that is to uh, play those kind of shows and, and strike out. Get your ass ha yeah, ha get your ass handed to you, and then you learn. You're like, okay, we, we understand what you're looking for now. And uh, next time we will be, we will be a little better suited for this type of crowd. Exactly. Now, one thing I've, what I love about your music is combining singing and screaming together. I mean, it's been done with a lot of different bands. And from what I understand, whether it's a band like Fear Factor, your Kill Switch Engage, or Miss May I, it's a very difficult thing. So, how do you like in your songwriting process decide? Okay, we're gonna scream here, sing there. Um, I think it sort of all just comes like out of just sort of all like natural vibe like we just sort of feel it out like obviously the choruses yeah. when yeah this time around yeah back in the day it was more strategic like okay choruses or ryan versus or levi breakdowns of levi and then now it's just like well what are you hearing there i hear some singing let's, let's try it out or i hear a screaming over the chorus let's try it. it's all just vibed out sometimes you track it and it's really goofy and it doesn't work yeah. and then you just you know if you cut yeah you come in and when you listen to it the second day it wasn't the right thing you just move on try again you ever fight over the part? Oh, I'm singing over this. Yeah. <laughs> Only one. Oh. There, so on Death Knows My Name, we, we went back and forth. I, I, I fight would be the wrong term. <laughs> Just discuss. The verses. The, verses. Yeah. Uh, the original Death Knows My Name recording, uh, the song was probably, the song is probably like 70% me anyway already. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the ones with more singing. It was about 90% me, the first draft. Just Levi and the breakdown. I had the whole verse, not even the beginning. And I, I thought it was really cool, and I was attached to it. So when, when he put the cool verse that made the record down, I was kind of like, no, I don't think so, dude. I don't think, I don't think it's going to work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and we went back a few times, and we did the, the two-day thing. You know, we were like, okay, let's just wait, not listen to it for a couple of days. We'll come back. And then when we came back, played it on the – did the playback with our producer and listened to it, we were like, okay, yeah, you're right. Okay. It's cooler this way. You're right. It's cool. 
Yeah. Now, with Heavy New York, we talk about with every band there, take on New York City. Now, you guys have been here a lot. Like I said, I mentioned the We Came as Romans tour last year. I know that you did the tour with Kill Switch Engage and Affiance. Yeah. I mean, so how do you... I'm surprised you guys aren't sick of us yet, but... Uh, uh, new York's one of our best cities. We, I was actually, this whole week, I've been really excited to come to New York. Oh, really? Yeah, it's one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Fan, our fans are charged up here. They're, they're always interactive. Um, we're doing a weekday show right now, which you can pack a weekday show and still have a weekday crowd, um, which, I mean, you, people are exhausted in the middle of the week, that sort of thing, and you don't have to worry about that when you come here. I mean, people are going to be charged up and excited no matter what day of the week, what tour you play. Um, and I think we've probably played New York City more than almost anything. Uh, it's close to Ohio. Uh, cheers, guys. It's pretty close to Ohio, so we even made it up here uh, like right before we, you guys made it up here right before you even got signed, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was like our first out of state show, really, like far out of state show. Oh, do you know where? Do you remember like the venue you played? It was Irving Plaza. We opened up for the uh, Sweet Brag tour. It was a day to remember and Devor's Prada. Oh, really? Way that's two thousand eight. Damn, that's that's we've been almost doing it. We've almost been ten doing years it, man. Ago. Yeah, we've been doing it for a while. <laughs> yeah. Now with your new music, um, because you, Miss May I has a really distinct sound, which uh, you know a lot of people listen to your music and instantly know that it's Levi and Ryan on vocals and stuff like that. So when you're recording new music, do you like to kind of maintain that sound and say, okay, let's kind of, you know, keep elements of a previous record, or do you like to completely shock your fans and like do I, some? I think this time it came down to who we chose to produce. Yeah. We we would have probably gone into the you do this and I do this kind of attitude and our producer went more into uh, try this weird thing yeah. get uncomfortable because it's different and then we'll come back and check it out in another day and uh, nine times out of ten you'll think it's awesome and we'll keep it so yeah. it was a little bit different this time this time we were going to sort of shock people a little bit but uh, it was actually cool to do that because we found out that we could do a lot more things with our voice that we didn't know we could do. Yeah, I mean, Suicide Silence, I also thought, really showed that, too. Oh, yeah. They did yeah. some new stuff. And yeah. when, you've, when you've made a bunch of records, too, you got to... It's not fun to do the same shit over and over, you know? I mean, this is the sixth... Is this the sixth one? Record? Yeah. Yep. This is the sixth one. Yeah. So, for us, it's it's we want to keep it exciting on our end, too, and do cool new stuff. Uh and at the same time, though, you gotta be careful because you don't want to, you don't want to do something too crazy and, and scare everybody away either. Yeah. So you're not gonna be doing like any hip hop anytime soon. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Don't Miss May I is gonna be a country band. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, I don't think so. Yeah, and uh, just so one last question because of we uh, deal with Alta Music for the gearheads. What are some of your uh, weapons of choice uh, in terms of gear? Oh yeah, this is good. No, I don't ever get asked this. Uh, uh, so I'm, I use all Fender basses this tour, and I did the record with them, and uh, a Jackson bass with uh, dark glass. He's looking at me like such, like I'm such a nerd. <laughs> and a, I don't have anything. And a, a dark glass tone capsule is the preamp, and then I, I use all dark glass uh, pedals. And uh, dude, I have a fucking. There's a lot of them on there. It's all dark glass though. Yeah. I have a lot of a lot of crap up there, a lot of crap to carry in. That's for sure. Yeah. And because you also sing and play, I mean, do you have your uh, instrument like adjusted to that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, I'm on in ears, which is cool because I don't use amps anymore. And uh, I have the bass is the loudest thing. In my, it's my bass and me and a click track are probably the three loudest things. Uh, my my mix is probably closer to a front of house mix because it, I can hear pretty a little bit of everything. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of my own bass guitar and my, my voice. I rely on the guitars a lot though to keep my pitch because it's so hard to tell what's going on because those in-ears are sealed so perfectly that there could be like 5,000 people screaming and I wouldn't hear a damn word. Like wow. I, yeah, like if they're, if they're screaming, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, I can't hear it at all. I don't use the crowd mics. <laughs> Do you ever look at Levi while he's uh, screaming and it's if like... I can tell when the show sucks. I can tell when the show sucks. Like, I can tell by his body motion that if if the crowd is working or not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So with the truck approaching, just uh, yeah, yeah. before we go, first of all, thank you guys so much for being here. I don't understand how you are in this hoodie and this heat right now. Uh, and also just getting freshly tattooed, as I saw on yeah. Facebook Live. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, is there anything else that you would like to say to the fans out there or uh, promote Shadows Inside? It's been out for, what, like two weeks now? So. Yeah, two weeks now. Yeah, check everything out on MissMeOutMusic.com. We're touring forever, so hopefully you can come see us. Yeah. Right now, the, the current count after this tour is five more tours this year. Five this to year. go. This year, and we already have a whole book for next year, so get ready. So be on the lookout. <laughs> Alex here from Alto Music and Heavy New York. For God's sake, pick out or pick up the new record, Shadows Inside. It is absolutely amazing, and be sure to catch Miss May I on tour because they will be touring all over the place uh, uh, for 2017 and 2018. Alto Music and Heavy New York, everybody.